name is Adam Eckerly. I'm a senior technical marketing architect within the cloud platform BU at VMware. We're going to talk about vCenter high availability in vSphere 6.5. This is a three node architecture that we've introduced that is only available for the vCenter server appliance in vSphere 6.5. It consists of an active, passive, and a witness node. These nodes are cloned from the original vCenter and can be deployed non-disruptively. There's a few types of replication that are occurring in this vCenter HA cluster. We have synchronous replication that is occurring between the active and the passive node to replicate the database writes. This uses the native PostgreSQL replication mechanisms built into PostgreSQL. We also have an asynchronous file-based replication that uses rsync. This is, consists of files that live outside the database, such as configuration files, as well as certificates. These files are generally small in nature, and so even though the replication is asynchronous, writes to, or uh, the replication between the active and passive node usually completes within just a few seconds. We also have the network that this replication occurs over. This is the private network, or in other words, the vCenter HA network. It consists of an extra ethernet adapter that we add to the nodes that facilitate this communication. There's very few requirements for this network. It just needs to be a port group within your vSphere cluster, uh, and we just require uh, layer three connectivity between each of the nodes. We don't require strict layer two, and we can route the traffic. However, vCenter high availability is not a DR solution. So I'll caution you in considering when you might think about deploying these nodes across different locations. vCenter HA at its core is really meant to provide availability within a data center. vCenter HA also supports embedded PSCs and external PSCs. This architecture here would be for an embedded PSC. The embedded PSCs just run on the active and passive nodes and there is nothing extra that you need to configure. For an external PSC, we require customers to use a load balancer. We support F5, NSX, and Netscaler as supported load balancers with PSC high availability. There are a couple things that make vCenter HA uh, an improvement upon solutions of the past. Uh, if you look at what we supported with Microsoft Windows failover clustering uh, for vCenter server on Windows, there were lots of limitations, including the requirement for physical mode RDMs. Uh, we couldn't fail over uh, uh, across different storage. Uh, and now with vCenter HA, as I mentioned previously, we have the flexibility to place the nodes wherever we would like. There are a couple of key decisions when architecting your vCenter high availability environment. First and foremost is, are you going to use enhanced linked mode? If the answer is no, then there's really not much of a reason to use an external PSC. So keep it simple, use an embedded PSC, you can enable VCHA with no extra special configuration. If you would like to take advantage of enhanced linked mode, then you have to ask, am I going to use high availability as well? If the answer is no, again, we can use an external PSC to connect multiple vCenters together, but we would not be able to add high vCenter high availability to that because we would lack a load balancer. If we do want to use vCenter high availability in conjunction with enhanced link mode, then we do need an external uh, PSC along with a load balancer. So you can see the two scenarios in which vCenter HA would be supported. For more information on how to enable vCenter HA, please visit the feature walkthrough.vmware.com site and pubs.vmware.com.